Hello and welcome back to Mindspans. I'm Craig and I want to thank you for taking some time with me. I want to talk about a really awesome exercise that you can use in your practice uh, or just generally. It'll help you bring yourself down before bed, uh, but it's also great for uh, healing exercises or de-stressing parts of your body and it's it's all about this mind-body connection and channeling your consciousness and your energy through to different parts of your body to rebuild those neural connections that have become autonomous over your lifetime and then learn to shift that energy around uh, to de-stress certain parts of your body or just as a practice to to release uh, the flow of energy uh, throughout your body, which uh, helps with healing and relaxation and just basically, you know, brings you down into a sort of a happier place. So let's take a deep stretch real quick and breathe in through your nose. Hold it for a second. Release through your mouth, release your shoulders, release your jaw. And we're good to go. So very simple practice. And you can get as complex over your time of practice as you like. Uh, but it's, I try to start really simple because the easiest is my fingers. Um, so what I do is I take my finger and, uh, and I move my mind to focus very, very deeply on this part of the top of the, this finger. And I just hold it. I can touch it so I can feel what that feels like and feel that feeling and, you know, stare at it. And then you move your hand away and you can sort of still feel it. And as you get better, you can really, really feel the energy of your mind in this particular part of your finger. And then you can change the position and move your mind energy to that position and then keep going down and down. And then sort of start over from the beginning. And then without this hand, just sort of feel your mind move the energy down your finger, up and down your finger. And you little by little, you'll start to feel that little buzz. And what that is, is that those are the neurons in your brain. Actually, the way it works, I've been studying this now, so I'm almost dangerous. So if there are any neurologists out there, please forgive me. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. But, um, so this side of your brain, the different lobes connect to this right hand and this side of your brain connects to your left hand. And, uh, and there are millions of these sensors on your fingers. And basically what happens is they sense something and send a signal to the spine and then that sends a signal up to the brain and figures out what's going on. Some is automatic, some is not automatic. Anyway, extraordinarily complicated, incredibly cool. Like we're the most sophisticated beings in the planet and it's just so awesome. And I, so I encourage you to, to watch some videos. Uh, there are plenty of either, you know, from universities or there are plenty of crash course videos um, on this stuff. So it's really worthwhile to understand because what, what you learn is that like mudras, which are hand position movements in, in the Indian, uh, Vedic tradition, uh, which are like hand yoga for all intents and purposes. The, the specific movements were meant to affect different parts of your system, uh, whether it's digestion or stress or whatever. And because each of those things corresponds to different parts of your brain. And so the idea is that by exercising in a particular way, uh, you're causing neural stimulation in the parts of your brain that control those various functions, whether it's seeing or or eating or smelling or moving or digesting or whatever it is your heart and and by stimulating that area through these exercises because there's so much neural activity that in, a, in that the the uh, the capability becomes greater uh, for that particular function in your body so that's not why I did this to begin with but I'm learning more and more about it so I find it absolutely intriguing and I'm going to continue to bring it to you and obviously in Chinese medicine they do a lot of acupressure work with the hands and feet and other parts of the body and that, I think uh, it's for the same reasons so so the idea is to increase that neural stimulation in the parts of your brain that are relevant to those functions now what I'm doing today 
is not specifically for that at all. What I'm doing is sort of just an energy cleanse and a de-stress, uh, but certainly the incremental benefit is that you're uh, engaging the different parts of your brain uh, and expanding the neuro cap neurotransmission capability of that part of your brain. So, um, so you go up and down your finger, and then what I want you to do is, as you get better and better and you start to really feel it, you know, just move to the next finger. And, and in the beginning, it's always, you can always use your other hand, which is why I like using hands because it's easy to do. And you can also do like pressure. So you, you put, take the top and put pressure down, put pressure back, put pressure down, put pressure back, and then you flip it and do it the other way. And what you're trying to do is really bring all your energy and focus to that entire feeling, the feeling of the pressure, the feeling of the finger, the feeling of what each, what everything is doing, the wrist, how your wrist is reacting, how different muscles in your body. And, and little by little, you start to reconnect this whole process of what's going on in, in the, initiate, the initiation of the sensory going from here up or to the back and up. And then also, I want to move my finger, right? And you can think about really moving your finger without moving it. And it almost feels like, for me, it feels like I'm moving my finger. And eventually, it'll feel like you're moving your finger. So this is a really, really cool thing to do. And what eventually will happen is that you start with your hands because uh, it's easy. And then you move to different parts of your body uh, and your feet. You can put your feet, it's hard to press your feet and stuff, but you can put them up against the wall. What I do uh, is put my feet up against the wall like that and then push against the wall to, 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 uh, to identify each individual toe because uh, th my three middle toes are all mushed together that way. So <laughs> I can't, I never, I'm getting better at it, but it's a, it's a major endeavor for me to have actually connectivity to the individual toe and think about how far the energy signal has to go from from here to your toe uh, to make that happen and uh, it's pretty miraculous actually so um, and so why are we doing all this right so so one is you build up this neural connectivity and and you start to reconnect sort of what's going on with your body uh, you also will start to recognize points of uh, blockage. And I don't mean that in sort of like a hoodoo guru kind of way, but it just there's some, you can feel like there's some lack of connectivity, there's some blockage in, in the transmission, and you can really focus your energy there, and maybe you could like massage it, or you just, whatever you want to do, uh, to try to release that flow, or you can just use your mind and move, move your mind back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you start to, you'll start to feel that, that tingling back and forth. And over time, uh, that energy will become unblocked, you know, so that'll flow much more freely. And, um, and in the process of all this is you start to relax. You're breathing all the time, of course, you know, breathing in just regularly, but in through your nose and allowing your body to expand and, and open up. Now uh, we talked about that in the last video, this expansion of ourselves uh, and through that opening up channels uh, in our body, creating more space for that energy to flow through our body. And you breathe out and you connect with your breath. Of course, you're always thinking about the fact that breath is sort of the, the, the focus of our existence. It's the oxygen that feeds everything. And we, the one thing we really can't exist without uh, our bodies. And so connecting to our breath, connecting our breath to our body, connecting our energy to different parts of our body, reconnecting the neural connections uh, in our body is, uh, is something that'll really drive you to a very present and peaceful place and it's relaxing. And little by little, as you open up these channels, You'll, you'll just feel yourself unwinding. You know, when 
if someone you know if someone's like rubbing your shoulder and the knot unwinds you you won't need someone to do that you can just do it yourself just you'll see that by moving the energy around those knots sort of start to dissipate and um and then what's really interesting is once you get better at this and we'll talk about this in another video but what i do is i do like a full like wash so like particularly when i'm feeling any stress like stress i try to wash the stress as quickly as possible because stress is like the worst thing i mean outside of the cortisol being released and, and which is a terrible harsh chemical we're designed to deal with stress and we're really good at it <laughs> like way too good at it so we have the stressing system which says hurry run there's a tiger coming and then there's the the de-stressing system which is the it's called the parasympathetic nervous system and that's the one that turns you down right so one turns you up and one turns you down the problem is is we get turned up way too often and what happens very simply very very simply very simply is a bunch of chemicals get released tells you know heart starts pumping really fast and what ha and and blood circulation constricts to places that are not needed so blood flow increases to muscles and to your heart and your brain so you can think better you have more oxygen and more nutrients and you can run faster and jump faster and you know you're pumping but you cut off blood flow to uh, your digestion and other sort of unnecessary uh, functions so think of it that way so they're basically turning up all your the critical stuff and turning down what are non-critical at the moment the problem is is we are dealing with stress all day every day and so we're constantly in this sort of state and so that's what causes disease because you're constantly restricting blood flow to certain areas that you actually you know you need that stuff you're supposed to you know you need all that that's why we have stomach problems all these problems and whatever high blood pressure and things like that so um so stress is really really good when you're chased by a tiger and it's really bad to have it all the time like we we associate so much in our life with that stress so these kinds of exercise anything that can allow you to reduce that stress very very quickly and bring yourself down uh is so good for it makes you think clearer and and it uh, energizes you and it, it provides for a much healthier existence over time so so what I do is I do like a wash of energy. So I start to really focus all this energy around my head and then I rush it down through my body. And actually I'll rush that energy out from my body at some point after I do that. So that I, and then release it, like I said in my last few years, and I expand it out uh, to, to the universe. Sometimes I have this visualization, I wrote about it the other day, of you know, being on the top of a mountain and, you know, the wind that goes through the trees when it's sort of winter, I was skiing. And so I, I had this, I saw this and it was like, wow, that's perfect. And it's just like the, your energy just sort of expands out like, like wind rushing out through the forest and, or like, as if like a, like a dam broke and it just, the water just floods through the entire valley. And just imagine that's your energy expanding out into the universe and, and really uh, creating this incredible sense of space and calm. And, and so, so these are awesome exercises and I really encourage you just start really simply. You'll, you'll, the cool thing is you'll feel it right away and you'll be like, wow, like I hadn't really experienced that. And if you have done it before, the more you practice it, it becomes stronger and stronger. So you can really feel that energy, uh, that electrical transmission going on in your body and you can move it around and do all kinds of great stuff and, and then you can focus it as you of course I always recommend people study biology and things like that and your know, muscular structure and because the more you know about that the more you can redirect energy in a way that would be more productive to trying to help you heal uh, whatever that is or if you have sort of chronic pain or inflammation or things like that where you know these things can be helpful so of course always see your doctor all that stuff but uh this this these exercises uh like any stretching or or other types of exercises can really really be helpful and definitely check out i'm going to talk more about 
uh, more of the traditional practices that have been incredibly well studied. Um, so I'm going to be doing some more research on that and talk to you about some of the Chinese practices. And there's a Japanese hand finger uh, exercise practice. Uh, there's of course the mudras in India. And, um, and so I, I, there's a lot of science behind all this. And, uh, so I want to bring that to you and, um, over the next couple of videos. So have a great day. Subscribe to the channel and like the video and share it with your friends because that's what helps. So um, I wish you just amazing, amazing, wonderful time. And uh, I'll speak to you very soon. Thank you.